Alice Robinson, Dr. Sparks. Nice to meet you. I don't know, but um, nice to meet you. How are you doing today? Um, you know, I'm not doing so well. Um, you know, for me to come in here, I'm pretty upset. Um, I just cannot hear very well out of my left ear, and it started maybe three weeks ago. And I thought I had an ear infection and that it would just go away, but it hasn't. And I just, I'm having so much trouble understanding people and I just want it to go away. I just feel like, I just feel like my ear is just full and I can't hear very well. And there's this ringing and it's just so loud and it, I can't sleep and um, I can barely keep my balance. And I just, I, I just need you to fix it. Okay, so it's only on your left side? Yes. You can see how that's be very difficult. It's been going on for two weeks, you said? It's been going on for, for two weeks, and it is driving me crazy because I am a marketing director, and I'm supposed to hold all of these meetings with all of my employees, and it is affecting my work. I can't hear them. I can't concentrate. And... Um, all I do is work occasionally. I'll, I'll do yoga to relieve my stress, but I can't even do that anymore because I am just so dizzy. And so I need I need you to fix this because I can't function in my daily life. Okay, I can see how it would be really frustrating. Okay, to do the normal activities that you usually do. Well, um, tell me about the dizziness that you're having. Um, it started kind of when I noticed that my hearing was going. I just, I just feel these waves where the room is spinning and I just have to just sit down and stop what I'm doing. It's to the point to where I don't want to drive too often because I'm just so dizzy. I, I feel like the room is kind of spinning a little bit and it's almost all the time. Almost all the time. So it doesn't happen at certain times of the day or anything that you notice that might, um, for on these dizziness spells? I'm not sure. I just, I feel like it's just kind of constant because with the, with my hearing and the, the ringing and the dizziness, it's just so distracting. I can't even think about what would be triggering it. I just am so distracted. Okay, yes. I can see that would be very uncomfortable. So when these happen, is there anything that you can do to make them um, subside or the symptoms subside at all? No. This, no? Is, this has been a constant problem okay. for about two or three weeks and I'm tr I try to let it go and I, I can't and I don't even I don't know what's worse being being dizzy or not being able to hear my colleagues as well as I could I I am in a high position at my job and I um, I value my position. I don't want to lose my job because I suddenly can't hear and can't be productive in my mm -hmm. meetings. And I have got to do something to make this better. I don't know what caused this, but I can't, I cannot lose my job. And so okay. I'm coming to you as just my last resort because I, I can't, I can't fix it and I can't even go to yoga to, to try to calm down about it because I'm just dizzy all the time. Okay, so what we can do here is at a separate appointment, we could do some vestibular balance testing, but for today, we could go ahead and test your hearing and see what that's looking like and see if there's been any changes and what type of hearing loss, if there is any. If, um, I just have a question. Does it make you, do loud sounds make you um, uncomfortable? Does it, or do you be able to tolerate, I guess is what I'm asking. I think, I think I'm okay with loud sounds. I prefer you know, like anybody not to be around the loudest sounds, you know, because I'm just dizzy all the time, so everything's kind of annoying right now, but uh, nothing, I can handle okay. it. I, I just wanted to make sure it. that we can proceed with testing for today. So if you're um, okay with it, we can go ahead and evaluate your hearing and see if we can figure out any consequences.